Alan Michael Finley was a regular here along the Danforth. He frequented a number of businesses, including a Gabby's restaurant just a few doors down. Last Tuesday, he was walking here along the south side sidewalk. He had been, just gotten some groceries. He was walking home when suddenly he was assaulted in an unprovoked attack. And as you said, he subsequently died. It's such a gut punch, really. Jeffrey Dvorkin was Michael Finley's manager at the CBC in the 80s and 90s. He was one of the great radio documentary makers ever. He was just brilliant, and he could also write like a dream. Dvorkin was shocked and saddened when he learned the 73-year-old, who retired in 2010 from the CBC, was randomly attacked on the Danforth last Tuesday and subsequently died. This is not really understandable. This calls into question what the hell's going on here. It was 3.35 p.m. on January 24th when police say Finley was assaulted as he was walking on the Danforth near Jones. And he was walking home with his groceries when someone pushed him from behind and knocked him into the street where he hit his head and cracked his ribs. The suspect fled the scene. Police have released these images of the assailant captured on video surveillance in an area business and as he was walking down this alley making his getaway. Dvorkin said Finley passed away on Tuesday. The CBC reports Finley died from medical complications associated with the incident. For now, police are still calling it an assault investigation. Finley was a regular at this Gabby's in the Danforth. Staff say that he would come here for years and always sit at this table and do the crossword. It's now been reserved in his honor. The bartender, too upset to go on camera, says many were in tears when they learned Finley had died. I think it's atrocious that this stuff happens, but unfortunately nowadays there's all kinds of stuff going on. This random attack happened just four days after the unprovoked assault on an 89-year-old woman at Young and King, which also resulted in her death. The charges in that case were upgraded to manslaughter. Toronto used to be considered to be a safe city, and in the last little while it's not. And I just got off the phone with another friend of Finley's who worked with him at the Vancouver Sun for years. He says they are simply gutted. People who knew him by the way in which he died, he had survived cancer. Uh, and this just was never something that they expected to happen to him. Now, for now, as I said in the story, police are treating this as an assault investigation. But as we saw in the Young and King Street uh, story that happened just four days before, and in that case, after the postmortem, charges were upgraded to manslaughter. Again, police at this point just focusing on finding the suspect. Have a good look at those photos, and if you recognize them, you're asked to call police. Alan. An absolutely tragic case. Thank you, Catherine.